one lean, green, fighting machine. All right. All right. The local team is on the scene. All right, guys, well, I'm going to take a look at the latest in haircuts and find out what makes sunglasses so cool. And personally, I think it's the guy that wears them. Oh, I think I could use these outside at Universal, where I'm going to be auditioning some of the worst singers in the world. <laughs> guys, I'm out of here. Take it Take easy, care. Karen. See you later. You know, when somebody says you're in the pipeline, that means you're very well connected. And we're going to find out just how well connected you guys are right now. As a matter of fact, when I say go, Mike and Tiffany are going to drop their team's balls into the pipeline and send them on down through their entire bleacher of kids. The team to get their ball to the bottom first is going to be our winner. So, Mike, you guys ready? Tiffany? Yeah. On your marks. Get set. Go! And they're off. Here comes the ball. So Tiffany's looking pretty good. And Mike's not off to a bad start either. Okay, we're into the second row for both teams. And as the, the purple's breaking into the third row, actually, Tiffany is just now behind it. Uh-oh, they kind of hung up in the third row. And there they go. They're going around. They're going around. Here comes the ball. Tiffany has one more row left to complete. And Mike, Mike is not far behind, but they got hung up again. And here it comes, the final stretch, guys. There it is, the green team. Congratulations, guys. Way to go. All right, Tippy. Tippy. Good job. You guys look great. Mike, sorry, but you guys, Purple Team, you guys did a great job anyways. Thanks a lot. Well, if your future's so bright you've got to wear shades, then Todd Colvin is the guy to talk to. Todd works at the Sunglasses Hut, and he's here to tell us about the latest styles of sunglasses. Guys, Todd Colvin. From what I have heard, you've brought in some of the hottest selling sunglasses around the country. So um, if you could please tell us a little bit about these. Let's start over here with uh, this pair of glasses here. Okay, that is an Oakley razor blade with an iridium lens. That's probably one of the most popular Oakleys we have mm -hmm. at Sunglass Hut. And what is a, an iridium lens? Is it, did I say that right? Yeah, iridium. Okay. <laughs> iridium lens that helps contrast and enhance the vision outside. You oh, pay a little cool. extra for it. They rode about $100. Wow, that's, that's quite expensive. Moving on right along. Okay, these are Oakley, okay, these are Oakley blades. The blade's a little bigger than the razor blades. Uh -huh. This is also a gray lens where that's a uridium lens. This is scratch resistant, that's not. Okay, is there any specific reason why it's bigger than these ones over here? Yeah, for, it's for a bigger. These, these three colors here? No, you, you can get that? other colors. You can get oh. a lot of colors and also the sides. If you break one of the nose piece of the lens, we have replacements, you can also buy those too. Oh, that's great. Okay, now our next pair of glasses. Um, what's this thing right here? What okay, that's that? a croaky, that's water resistant. That's for mostly sports, they're gonna be in the water, or whatever. Uh -huh. And that's an Oakley frog skin. It has a solid lens gray, which is scratch resistant, just like the gray on the Oakley blades is. Those are really cool, I like those. And these don't look so bad either. Okay, these are our newest, um, these two are actually the newest at Sunglass Hut. This one is the Killer Loop. It has a little sweat bar at the top. Bosch and Lama makes this lens, mm -hmm. so it's a pretty good lens. That's a nice pair of sunglasses, finally. But last but not least. Okay, these are Exile. This is one of our newest also, Sunglass Hut. It has a blue lens, which is going to cut the glare a lot. So that's pretty much Those are it. really nice. OK, well, we have two kids from our audience, one from the purple green and team, and one from the green team, who are going to model a pair of sunglasses for them, guys. Bring them on in. Over from the green team, we have Jason. And Jason, where are you from? Illinois. Illinois, all right. How do you like these glasses? Oh, they're cool. Are they? Yeah. Would you wear them on the beach? Oh, yeah. That's cool, man. I, I kind of like those. Are they comfortable? Oh, yeah. Are they nice and light? Yeah. That's great. Can you take them off for me for a second? Sure. Show our cameras, like the little sides here. Um, here let's see. Can you hold over? Now, why are they shaped like this? Is there any specific reason? OK, well, this one is shaped like uh, curved. That's for more outdoor sports. This is a, this, those are curved with the razor blades. Those are solid, just straight across for the blades. They have two different sizes for those. OK, Jason, you can go ahead and put those back on. So you like those, huh? Yeah. All right. Well, from our purple team, we have Adriana. Is that right? Adriana. Adriana. Where Hi. are you from, Adrian? Canada. Canada. Wow, welcome. Well, um, those are guests of the frog skins again, huh? That's yeah, that? OK, right. those, those are the Oakley frog skins again. Those are the clear frames with the purple lens. That's probably the most popular frog skin we have. OK, well, thanks a lot, guys. Miles, you did a great job. Thanks, Todd, for coming by, everyone. Todd Colvin. Well, right now, we're going to go out into the park and see what Karen's up to, because I think I hear some horrible, horrible noises. Karen, what's up? It's time again for Karen's Talent Corner, in which people from all over Universal Studios have the opportunity to totally humiliate themselves before millions of television viewers. Today I asked, how about singing one of those 
theme songs from the old TV shows, like Come and listen, listen to a story about a man named Jed. A poor named mountaineer Perry kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food. And up from the ground came a bubbling crew. Oil, that is. Black gold, Texas tea. Remember, you don't have to be a great singer to be here on Karen's Talent Corner. You don't even have to be great. In fact, you don't even have to be a singer. Actually, all you have to be is here at Universal Studios to be on Karen's Talent Corner. Back to you guys in the studio. Well, thanks, Karen. I think next time around, I'm going to go on ahead and audition for, my, for you myself, OK? Guys, how many of you have ever babysat before? You have babysat? Yes, I have. And how much did you make an hour? Three fifty. Well, that's a lot more than I'm making on this show, so maybe I should go into babysitting. I don't know. But one of my favorite parts about babysitting is, um, you know, kind of sneaking in a boyfriend or girlfriend after I put the kids to bed and uh, watching a movie or maybe raiding the refrigerator. And, but sometimes, if you're like me, you've slipped up and invited one too many dates, and that's exactly what's happened with our two babysitters here in these two living rooms. Now, here's how we're going we're gonna to play. When I say go, our babysitters are going to take their positions on the couch, and then our boyfriend's going to come over to the door and knock on it. When that happens, our babysitter's going to run over, open up the door, their boyfriend's going to come through, and they're going to have to take him over and seat him on the couch until they hear the next knock. Knock, 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 there it is. They've got to get up, run the boyfriend out through this window, okay? And when that happens, she's going to have to get the next boyfriend out. So now we've explained the game. Let's go ahead and meet our babysitters. For the green side, we have... Lisa. All right, Lisa. And over on the purple team, we have... Amy. Okay, Mike. Who's, who are the boyfriends for the purple team today? On the purple power side, we have... Doug Brown from Orlando. Nathan Lansell, Lawrenceburg, Indiana. Mason Ambrose, Alain. Matt Taft from New York City. Oscar and Matt... Oscar Mez, San Antonio, Texas. All right. Okay. Thanks a lot, Purples. Sounds good. Greens, who do you guys got playing for you guys? <laughs> On the green machine, we have. Paul from North Carolina. Hugh from Virginia. Taco from Texas. Warren from Virginia. And. Chuck from Florida. All right. Well, there it is. Those are our boyfriends, <laughs> babysitters. You guys ready? Why don't you guys take a seat? All right, boyfriends, Tiffany, Mike, you guys ready? Because we're going to start. On your marks, get set, go! And they're off, and there goes our boyfriends and our girlfriends. They're heading on out. Let's bring in the first boyfriend and girlfriend. Here they come to sit down on the couch. Looks great. There's the per first purple boyfriend at the door, and the second, the first green guy out through. The purple look like they're a little bit in the lead today, and they're looking really good because they're moving those boyfriends out as quickly as possible. There goes our second and our second green boyfriend and our second purple boyfriend. Here they come again. Oh, this one's becoming neck and neck. Looks good. Let's get those boyfriends out the windows. Okay, they're going back to the door because they've got the next set of boyfriends coming out. We're talking neck and neck here, guys. This is looking really close. Who knows who it will be? I don't know. Okay, they're down to the last boyfriends. And I don't know about the door, but it's kind of open. Oh, sorry. And there it is. The Purples have done it. Congratulations, guys. Come on down here. Way to go. You guys did a great job. Congratulations. Hey, hey, hey. We just want Tiffany and the entire green side to know that. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, guys. Way to go, Purples. Way to go, green team. You guys did an excellent job. Have you ever heard an outrageous statement at school or maybe from a friend and you think to yourself, this can't be true? But maybe it is? Well, those are the exact kind of statements we're going to try and stump our purple and our green teams with. As a matter of fact, I'm going to ask them a question right now, and they're going to have to decide whether it's true or whether it's false, OK? So, Tiffany, who have you got, and where are they from? Well, playing for the green machine, we have Adrian from Fort Lauderdale, Sandra from Fort Lauderdale, and Ashley from Fort Lauderdale. I Sounds good. All right, there's a the green team. <laughs> and Mike, who do you got heading up the purple people? Displaying their purple power, we have Phoebe from Fort Lauderdale, Ernesta from Columbia, Brian from Pita. Hey. All right. Sounds great. Well, good luck, guys, okay? Because we're going to start, and we're going to start off with Tiffany's team. Here is your first question. In Days of Thunder, Tom Cruise played a handsome TV weatherman. True or false? False. Woohoo. That's correct. Oh, okay. Yes. Point yeah. over here to the green side. Now to you, Purples. The brand name Swatch actually stands for Swiss Watch. Is that true or false? True. That's correct. It is true. Okay, guys, way to go. Way to go. On to our next question for the green team. 
The original name of New Kids on the Block was The White Knights. Is that true or is that false? False. That's correct. New Kids on the Block have always been New Kids on the Block. Over to you, Purples. To find the chain on Jane Child's ear, just follow her nose. True or false? True. True is correct. Okay. Point Purples. Are you ready, Green? The Wonder Years stars Fred Savage as a loaf of white bread. True or false? False. That's correct. <laughs> it stars Fred Savage as a kid, and uh, hopefully we can get him on our show sometime. Here's the next question, Purples. Kiefer Sutherland's favorite pretty woman is Julia Roberts. True or false? False. Oh, I'm sorry, but it's true. Over to you, green guys. Yes. OK. Guys, here you go. Cool Modi is a type of fruit punch. <laughs> That's correct. Cool Modi is a rapper. OK. All right. Mike, here's your last question, guys. Kid actors Corey Haim and Corey Feldman are real life brothers. Is that true or false? False. That's correct. They are not brothers. OK. And our winners are the Green Team. Way to go, Greens. Well, Karen's in the park right now on a little bit of a hunt. And let's go check out and see what she's doing. I'm here at Universal on a hat watching expedition. I've been sent out here to observe some rare and exotic species of hats. Take a look. Here's a collapsible lampshade hat. Its natural habitat is the bottom of a closet, but this one has migrated to the top of her head. Here's a Chinese wok hat. It's both colorful and very handy for stir frying. Oh look, it's the rare and delicate southern bell hat. Some say it's endangered, but the only danger I see is that more people might start wearing this thing. <laughs> rare and exotic species of headgear from the wilds of Universal Studios. Back to you in the studio. Well, thank you, Karen, for that look at awesome headwear. The zipper, the fade, the bull cut, the flat top. No, they're not all new Dick Tracy villains. There are new hairstyles, and here to tell us about it from Nickelodeon is our own hairstylist. Please help me welcome Carol Rashid. How you doing, Carol? Great to have you. You look great. Oh, thank you. Great. So, it's your Nickelodeon. What, what shows have you worked on here? Oh, I've worked on Total Panic. I've worked on Make the Grade. Of course, right now we're doing uh, Family Double Dare. Uh -huh. So, quite a few, quite a so, few. Um, any particular haircuts that the uh, guys on the show have, any of the shows? Well, I tell you, on the shows we try to keep them at a minimal, so kinda it's very, yeah, very conservative. Cool. What kind of haircut would you say Mark Summers had? He has like a basic layered haircut, very <laughs> low. That's cool. <laughs> very um, common. Can I ask you, are kids today basically, are their haircuts mimicking uh, certain celebrities or anything? Oh, absolutely. Like I would say new kids on the block. Really? Yeah. Um, Kid and play, mm -hmm. you know, just people that are really out there, they're into music, you know, the younger kids tend to go towards what they have. Well, that's great. As right now, concern. we've got some kids that are going to go model some haircuts for us. If we can bring great. them up, that'd be great. Come on out, guys. And uh, if you can, please comment on the haircuts for us. Okay. Let me go ahead and find out who this is. Hi, who are you? Where are you from? Alex, I'm from Arizona. Really? Well, thanks for coming on out here. If you can kind of turn around and show us your haircut. Carol, what is this? Okay, basically what Alex is sporting here is a wedge. He mm -hmm. has a wedge with a nice. side spike. And this is really hot for the summer, going into fall, which could also be worn in the fall. And in the back, if you could if you could turn around and get a shot you of his head in the back, he has it like right totally here. shaved. Wow, that looks great. Underneath there. That's so cool. that's pretty hot for the summer. All right, thanks a lot, Alex. Appreciate it, buddy. Good job. We can bring our next model out. And who are you and where are you from? Jeremy from Orlando. From Orlando, all right. Can you tell us a little bit, a bit about Jeremy's haircut? Yeah, Jeremy is also uh, sporting a wedge and he has like zippers on the side. Is that, okay, that would be the, the lines in the hair? Right, the lines Excellent. on the hair. And the back of the hair, he has a heavy, severe weight line, which is a happening thing also. That looks great. And... That was a nice spin, actually. <laughs> He looks pretty hot. He does, though. He looks like he just stepped out of New Kids on the Block. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jeremy. You did a great job. The hair looks good. I like it. Like zipper, not a bad idea. Let's bring in our next uh, model. Who are you and where are you from? Chris Lewis from North Carolina. North Carolina. All right, you ever go skiing? No. Oh, I love skiing. Anyways, can you tell us a little about, about Chris's haircut? Yeah, Chris is sporting a high top fade, which is really a happening thing with a streak in the front. So 
Whoa, he's sporting it. That looks he could great. Turn in the back. That looks really cool. Is all the way around. Is that a kid and play type thing? Kid and play, definitely. All right, well, thanks Absolutely. a lot, buddy. Thanks a lot, Chris. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, we're whipping up two to one, so we'll be right back. Yeah! <laughs> we're coming to you from here where the green team is obviously in need for congratulations because they're winning here two wins to one congratulations green team way to go <laughs> all right all right how many of you guys here are from the midwest all right well that's great have any of you ever been cow, cow tipping well you have been do you have a good time yeah it was great all right well we're gonna do some cow tipping of our own right now as most of you know cows sleep standing up and uh Sometimes the kids want to have fun, they go out into the pasture, the field, wherever they're going, and they run out in the middle of them while the cows are sleeping and knock them over. So here's what we're going to do. When I say go, I'm going to send a kid from each team down the line here uh, through the uh, pasture of cow uh, chips, I guess we'll call them. And uh, be careful you don't step in that stuff because that'd be crazy. They're going to tip over the cow, run back, and tag the next member who's going to do the same thing. Good job, guys. That sounds great. All right, so if I can, and try not to step in this stuff, let me... Uh, talk to our cow tippers starting over here on the purple side way down at the end we have Tony from Illinois Paul from Illinois Christy from Hawaii Becca from Florida Jim from Florida all right and over to the green side thank you very much purples all right guys starting over on our green side we have Jesse from Michigan Christy from North Carolina Helen from Tennessee Lisa from Florida Mike from California all right there's our teams you guys ready? All right, get lined up here. On your marks, get set, start tipping. And they're up, and there goes our teams to tip some cows. It's a tie. Way to go, greens and purples. All right. Well, we're going to take an instant pull from out of here, and it's going to be on this video. So, guys, let's take a look. So guys, Brian, Erica, moving right along, let's go on to the first first uh, category, and it's going to be Move Factor. How well could you move to this song? What do you give it, Erica? I think you can move pretty well to this song. Okay, so we'll give it a move pretty well. Sounds good to me. How about you, Brian? Sounds good to me. Move Sound pretty good. Okay, we'll give it the same exact rating then, an MPW. All right, on the Zap Factor, if you're sitting at home watching this video on your couch with your remote control, how many times can you watch it before you have to zap it to another channel? Oh, about three times. Well then, Erica, we're going to give it a three watts. How about yourself, Ron? I'm sorry, over and over again. Over and over again? Then we'll give it a oh, oh watts for over and over again. I don't know what that means, but people at home can figure that one out. <laughs> Finally, Fresh Factor. Come on, guys, is this song fresh? Well, I don't really think so. I've, I've heard songs just about the same. So how about an N for no? There it is, Brian. Definitely. Definitely? It's yeah. fresh? Yeah. All right, we're going to give it a big D. All right, well, that's what two members of our audience think about the epic video from Faith No More. Let's go find out what the rest of our audience thinks in an instant pull from out of here. And here are their choices. A, Faith No More is keeping the faith. B, we don't have much faith in Faith No More. Or C, no more. Please, no more. OK, guys, cast your votes now. And the results are in, and by an overwhelming majority, our audience seems to agree with Brian and Erica, and they are keeping the faith in faith no more. And we, all right guys, thanks for signing off on Soundcheck, Brian and Erica, you guys did a great job.
you know, we're keeping the faith in Karen out in the park right now. So let's take a look. One of the most popular exhibits here at Universal is the Animal Actors Show. And because of that, I've decided to try something new. The Celebrity Lookalike Petting Zoo. Come on, I'll show you some exhibits. And no, this isn't the Billy Goat exhibit. It's Dweezil Zappa's dad, Frank Zappa. But where's his trademark goatee? Here's everyone's favorite teddy bear, Kenny Rogers, fresh out of hibernation and looking for honey. Here's a Steven Tyler lookalike. Kind of nice that the lead singer of Aerosmith took the time from a grueling schedule to visit the park today. Remember, you could pet them, but please don't feed the celebrity lookalikes. Back to you. We're coming to you from out of here, and Purples, Purples, this is your last chance to tie up the score because it's three on the green side and two on your side. So if you win, it might tie it for the day, all right? All right. Okay, guys, all of you have done some traveling, and you all know what this is. It's a pennant, and it can come from anywhere in the United States, but ours happen to come from the green side and the purple side. Now, here's how this game is going to work. When I say go, we're going to have members from the opposing bleachers cross the stage, grab one of the pennants, run it back, and give it to the last kid in their bleacher who's going to work it through every other kid up to their team captain. Now the team captain with three pennants is going to be our winner. So you guys ready? On your marks. Get set. Go! And they're off! And there goes the flag and the pennants are coming up the wall. Uh-oh. There's the first one. Back to the bleacher. He's getting thrown the second one. Oh, we've got a little bit of a collision derby here, guys. This is looking great. It's good things kids don't take dents when they come. Let's keep those flags in passing. There's a third one from both teams. They're coming on up. It's looking good. I want to see three pennants. I want to see three pennants, guys. I want to see three pennants. Come on. There are no pennants yet on our host, but we're still looking for them right now. There's one pennant on the purple side. You have one pennant on the purple side. One pennant on the green side. Two on the purple side. Two on the green side. There it is. Mike, way to go. You guys have tied the show for the day. Congratulations, purples. And way to go, greens. You guys did a great job. We've ended up with three, three on both sides. It's going to be a tie score for the day. All right, well, it's about time to wrap up the show. It's great being nice. Hey, nice hat, Karen. Yeah, who did you steal it from, baby? Oh, please. Oh, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Never do that. Well, guys, we're out of here. And you can be, too. Just hit Nickelodeon Studios in Orlando, Florida. See you later. Bye. Take it easy. Homestar's Fast Track 12 inch digital ruler. It helps to make measuring easy and fun from Homestar. <laughs> Promotional considerations provided by Koosh Ball. The ball that's soft and wiggly, colorful and wild. It's a handful of fun. That... I mean.